Well lads, what's the crack? My name is DV Geek and welcome back to another Halo video. And in this video we are going to be checking out Halo Wars. Ladies and gents, this was something that was requested over on Twitch because as of a few minutes ago from this recording, I was streaming Halo Reach. And we've got to the point where we're nearly pretty much at the end of the Halo Reach campaign. And I can tell you this, my impressions of Halo Reach are extremely high. I've never had so much fun playing a shooter before until Halo Reach, and I could not believe the things that I could do in that game, from driving a warthog, driving enemy ships, flying a freaking aircraft and shooting shit in space, was not expecting that, and that was one of my favorite missions we've done so far, and now we've got to the point where I will be flying a chopper. And that will be happening in the next stream on Twitch, where we will be concluding Halo Reach campaign. So if you guys haven't followed me on Twitch and you wanted to be a part of that, then what are you waiting for? I'll leave a link down below to my Twitch channel where you can join me as I conclude the story of Halo Reach. And once that is concluded, we'll be diving in to Halo Combat Evolved. But in this video, you guys requested it, we're going to be checking out Halo Wars, the in-game movie. Now, a lot of you said I don't really have to play the Halo Wars game as it is an RTS style game, and it wouldn't really fit in with our continuity of games that we are going to be doing on Twitch and then posting onto YouTube. So if you guys are wondering, yes, every one of the videos or every one of the streams that I do on Twitch will be posted here onto YouTube as edited videos and as part of the playlist. So nobody misses out on my reactions to Halo. So just to get that out of the way, but now it is time to check out the world of Halo Wars. I'm excited about this one and I want to say a huge shout out to my dude Mark's top list for sending me the link to this video. So if you guys are excited and you are hyped to see this reaction, I want to see you guys smashing that like button like you've never smashed the like button before. Let's go for an absolutely insane like goal of 5,000 likes. I know you guys can do it. I see you Spartans out there. You've already got your guns ready. Let's do it. And of course, if you are new and you are a huge Halo fan, subscribe to the channel because we are playing every single Halo game that came out on Xbox and of course it's all gonna be part of the Master Chief collection so it is gonna be something to be a part of until the infamous and the highly anticipated Halo Infinite anyway guys all that shite being said it is time to check out Halo Wars here we go alright guys so what we have here is Halo Wars definitive edition all cutscenes game movie let's get into it guys smash the like if you haven't already here we go. Ensemble Studios, or Ensemble Studios. Right, so now we're actually going to get filled in on the Halo Wars story. And these cutscenes are meant to be absolute fire. So let's immerse ourselves, lads. Here we go. Oh no! No! The thingy! Oh my god, the elite! Spartans lined up. February 4th, 2531. Shit, this is Five good. Years. Five long years. That's how long it took us to get harvest back. Go, go, go! Oh man! Gotta love those war hogs.
first it was going well. Then setback after setback. No! Loss after loss. Made what was going to be a quick and decisive win. No! God damn elites and their thingy with jiggies. That's all harvest is today. It's hell down there. But now it's ours again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the feckin' world, welcome to Halo Wars. Epsilon Indie System Harvest, February 4th, 2531. Twenty years before the Halo event. So this is basically a prequel. Prequel. Serena, status. Standard orbit achieved. All systems normal. Prep for pod launches, bring weapon systems online. Expecting trouble, Captain? Harvest may be ours again, but I don't think the Covenant appreciate that yet. Sergeant Forge, report. Definitely plenty of bad guys down here, Captain. And they found something in the ice. Damn it. That complicates our mission. Anders, what have you got? Captain. Scans of the northern polar region show some interesting Covenant activity on the surface. There's some kind of structure down there. What do you think they're looking for? That's what we're here to find out. We're to bring Alpha Base up to operational status and take control of that site. I'll get my equipment ready, Captain. Lady, there's no way you're coming down here on the first burn. She ain't gonna listen to you. Sergeant Forge, pull back to Alpha Base. I'm sending you some backup. Roger that. So, nothing too difficult then? It might be the key to this whole war, Serena. It's worth the risk. Captain, Alpha is towed. Okay, so we got some in-game stuff as well. Just for context of the story. We need to turn that around, Sergeant. Serena, what's our status? Sir, we've got a lot of troops retreating from Alpha Base. If Sergeant Forge can regroup them, our numbers may be sufficient to retake the base. Roger that. We'll round up any and all survivors and get Alpha back. Let's ride. Okay, very, very cool. We it's definitely RTS style game, anyway. On the way. We're pinned down over here. Ramming. I'll do it. On the move. On the target. You boys from Alpha? We were the first out, sir. Fall in behind me. We're taking Alpha back. Hell yeah. Let's roll. Air support in route, sir. They'll take out the armor. The rest is yours. All units. Knock them down. The fucking music, man. Halo music is just god tier. again sergeant forge you may want to scout the area this is so good i love all the context that we're getting here it's exactly what we need so there's no missing parts in the story forge looking thick let's just take one last look see it sounds like nathan drake The hierarchs grow impatient. We can delay no longer. What if the infection defiles the relic? I care not for your little life. Open the relic. I care not for your little life, Jesus. Well, well. Open sesame.
It's Nolan North that does Nathan Drake's voice. Is he doing... I'm pretty sure it's Nolan North. He must be doing Forge's voice as well. What made you choose Could be wrong. my observation deck as your lab, Professor? I like the view. It adds perspective to my work. <laughs> Forge doesn't think it's safe for you to go down there yet. He's quite insistent. I can be quite insistent too, Captain. I can take care of myself. Any she idea sure what can. It is we've got down there? It's all theories right now, and I'll know a lot more once I get down there. I'm approving the mission, but the slightest sign of danger and I'm pulling you out. Is that understood? Understood, Captain. Hierarch, the humans are closing and will soon be upon us. No matter. The information you have gathered here is most appetizing. However, we must protect what we have learned here. Set the charges and destroy this place. Destroy this holy relic, surely you just... The journey requires sacrifice. Set the charges. Return to us. Our patience is not infinite. It will be done. Man, do you need We need to establish Alpha Base before we can proceed with the mission. Captain, the base power system is offline and a lockdown protocol is in effect. If we rebuild, the lockdown will end and the doors will open. If the Covenant detonate those explosives, our mission here is over. Get to the detonator. I think the game would be fun. I do like RTS games. How long does it take? Holy shit! There we go. Detonator destroyed. Prepare for new orders. Alpha Base, this is Bravo 29, heavy inbound. I've got the professor aboard. Mission complete. Sergeant, is this what the aliens were after? These in-game cinematics are god. They're godlike. All quiet now. So good. What are you doing? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. What did you do? Now that's not what I expected. It's projection. Uh oh. Oh no! These guys just don't know when to quit. We're gonna need a little backup. And then back into the game. Sergeant, Alpha Base won't be able to respond in time. We've got Grizzlies inbound from Spirit Oh, shit! Hold on down there. Whoa! Okay. Ah, Grizzly Tanks. Forge's pet project. Freaking Grizzly Tanks? That is awesome. I haven't got to drive a tank in the game yet. Them. I made a few improvements. My own special upgrades. 
Oh yeah, some more firepower then. So, all it did was point here. In the 30 seconds I had to examine the artifact? Yes, all it did was point at a second star system. Arcadia Colony, to be precise. Population a little under three million, largely unexplored, but apparently quite the vacation resort. There's something there, Captain, and I think it's important that we get to it before the Covenant do. Our orders are to investigate Harvest. We still don't know a lot about what's going on down there. I understand that, Captain, but everything I see here tells me that we need to get to Arcadia to figure this out. Very well, Professor. I'll clear it with Admiral Cole. Serena, set course for Arcadia. Aye, sir. Crazy mystery trip to Arcadia plotted in, spinning up FTL drive. Serena, get out of my lab. <laughs> okay. Procyon system, Arcadia, February 9, 2531. Two Covenant vessels came out of slip space near Arcadia. The Belfast, Pillar of Autumn, Texas, and Armstrong engaged immediately and caught one with its shields down. We lost the Texas and Belfast. The Armstrong is venting atmosphere and Autumn is badly damaged. The second vessel is engaged in surface activity. What kind of surface activity? Unknown. Wait, I'm getting a signal. Audio only. Oh. Getting visuals now, Captain. Oh, shit! The music kicks in because you see the Spartans! Serena, launch pods. Bring the ship to alert. I'm back to game. Oh my god, look at that! We're inbound to aid in evacuation efforts. Help us on the way. It's alright. As long as Cat's not driving, everything is fine. Let's hit him. Rolling. It's a bloodbath here. We need some cover. Now. Rolling. Attacking. Rolling. Rolling. This is ground control. Covenant are closing in. Prepare emergency launch protocols. Mark. Mission complete. The transports are away. Sergeant Forge, pull back and regroup. New orders are incoming. Roger that, Captain. Most of us are heading out of the city through the traffic tunnels. The Covenant are right on our ass. Keep moving. We cannot lose our foothold on Arcadia, gentlemen. Secure a defendable position and hold it until we can reinforce you. I've scanned the area. The best defendable location is an impact crater a few clicks south along the highway. Get to that crater! Do not engage the enemy behind us! Keep moving! All units. Rolling! Rolling! RTS games, they are enjoyable. But they can also be a little too much at times. It can be very overwhelming. And a little bit daunting. Too easy. But it's very cool seeing a Halo game like this. Target acquired. Hostile targeted. Taking it down anyway. Look at these Spartans go. Oh shit! 
Mission complete, boys. Nice work. Sergeant Forge, report to the bridge ASAP. We've got a new problem. So, it's an energy shield that they can deploy on the planet. Yes, Captain. We can't see through it, but the Covenant are up to something. Agreed. We need to find out what that is. Can we use the ship's cannons and take it out directly? We may destroy whatever's under there. Covenant shield technology is susceptible to superheated plasma. Aren't we field testing some plasma-based rhinos? Pillar of Autumn inventory shows they have some prototypes. Oh shit. Take some time I do love me some stars. prototypes. I'll need to be on the ground to do that. Professor, Sergeant Forge, let's get that shield down. Prototypes? Uh, babysitting again? Were made to be tested. She didn't take too kindly to that. Well, this little field trip is a bust. Anders! Is there anything out here except for that huge alien dome thing? Scans seem clear. Shall we see what's inside? <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at this yellow tank. Whoa, it's like water. What Looks the like we freak? The we got multiple bogeys incoming. Oh no! Oh, listen to that music. Even Halo Wars has got awesome music. We go. The dome power supply is overloaded. We got it. They did it. Nice. And the rain is coming online. Single turret available. Mac firing. All right. Dome generators and air defenses are the main targets. Light them up. Hit Mac. Away. Hit Mac firing. Nice work. Woo! Let's see what the Covenant found so damn interesting. Let's go. Mission complete. Arbiter, you are unusually quiet. What troubles occupy your thoughts? My arc. I do not wish to be impudent, but you have charged me with the destruction of humanity. A most noble cause for one with such a troubled past. And I am thankful for my task. But sire, you have me skulk in ancient ruins and search empty temples. How does this help thee accomplish my goal? The war with the humans will require a great deal many more machines than we can currently muster. I will take what we have. And leave us defenseless? No. The ancients will provide for us. This world shall be the birthplace for an invasion fleet beyond imagining. Enough to crush the humans quickly and with ease. But this world lies dormant. It is just a shell. Blasphemy! The key will be found with patience. But perhaps there is a quicker way. The human female from the ice relic. She has some knowledge in this regard. The new planet the relic has led us to has also led her. Capture that human and bring her here. It will be done. 
Oh no! Not her. But all she did the last time was touch it. Advanced to where the force field stood. Take a look around. Look at them tanks, man. The scarab is incomplete, but its head is operational. Its field of fire prevents any chance of retreat or extraction. You'll have to destroy it. Ready to go. Rolling out. Send us in. Rolling out. Target acquired. Whoa. Send us in. Shit. Almost there. The scarab is nearly destroyed. And it's out of here! Boom! Woo! No problem. I told you you'd make it. No problem. Mission complete. Nice work. The scarab is destroyed. Victory is ours today. Damn right it is. How about one for the scrapbook, Professor? If you don't mind, Sergeant, I'm trying to document this area for study. We must protect her. We must protect her. Oh no! It's freaking Predator! Oh no, it's the elite. It's the Arbiter. the lady down and talk about this man to freak? As you wish. Oh no, Forge! Get, get the fuck out of there, Forge! Oh no! Stop! Anders, get out of here! I'll come quietly if you let him live. Oh no! Now they got her! Too late, Spartans. She already gone. Sir, I'm okay. Spirit of Fire, this is Forge. I lost Anders. What happened? Some massive elite came out of nowhere. Captain, I'm tracking her transponder. It's heading away from the planet. Damn it. Sergeant, get up here on the double. Already en route, sir. We're all accounted for. Why haven't we left yet? Why aren't you in the med bay, Sergeant? The professor's signal has gone to light speed, headed for the border. That puts Shit. it outside the range. What? We have to go after her. Sir, I can only track that transponder a few more seconds. Go! Sir, Anders represents a significant security breach. Serena, get us underway immediately. Follow that signal. Took you fucking long enough. <laughs> Jesus. Why did he hesitate? We left a note saying we're leaving. Unknown location, February 23rd, 2531. The, the hell are we, Serena? Fuck is that? In orbit around a planet in the middle of. Actually, I'm still working on that, sir. In the middle of feck nowhere. Anders? The Covenant vessel we pursued appears to have taken cover on the planet's surface. I have rough coordinates. Any sign of other Covenant activity? Not that I can detect. Although this world is giving off some pretty crazy readings. Get Forge down there. I believe he's already aboard a Pelican, awaiting your word. Yes, I'm going. On the move. Echo is operational. Situation normal. All is... Hold on. Something's... Movement! We've got movement all over! On the way. This is Echo! Help! Help! They breached our... Ah! Oh, shit. Echo signs are offline. Quite suddenly, I might add. Sergeant, take a team out there and find out what's happening. Spooky, eerie planet. India reporting in. Elephants unpacking. Hold for. Wait. Over there. What the hell was that? The hell was what? 
There's giant monsters in here. What is going on? India signs are offline as well. How very ominous. On the way. Signal flares. We must be close. On the way. Forge here. I believe teams Echo and India are compromised. Oh, what the heck are those? Covenant. I'm not reading any brute signatures. Not Covenant, sir. Something else. Something worse. Much uglier. Ugh. Oh shit. Right away. On the way. Um Where's Doom Slayer when you need him, eh? Clear out that crap around the elephant. We need to get him mobile. Right away. Right away. Well, that's new and scary. These organisms are interesting. Our database has nothing on their origins, or, well, anything about them, really. Moving. Standing by. At first glance, they appear to be a species of virulent parasitic organisms that thrive by consuming other sentient life of sufficient biomass. Okay. Serena, you ever hear the phrase too much information? <laughs> yeah. Spirit, any closer on that transponder location? I'm still trying to confirm Professor Anders' coordinates. A watch pot and all that. Spirit of Fire, this is Red Team. We're a hundred meters from Anders' transponder signal. Meeting strong resistance. Seeing some pretty crazy stuff out here. Over. Oh no! Hold your position, Red Team. Reinforcements will come to you. Oh Jesus. Forge, rendezvous with Red Team and find Anders. But be careful. We don't know what these things are capable of. Not sure what just happened. But the large one just shook like it was hurt. Yes, sir, damn it. yes. When the colony was destroyed, I registered the large creature weakening. We noticed a few colony creatures on the way in. We can weaken the big one by taking them out first. Uploading coordinates. All right. Right away. Oh shit, no, the poor Spartan. About time you guys showed up. Right away. I've lost Anders' transponder. Could the creature be jamming the signal? Right away. They did it, that's 20 20 Now it's time to take down the big mama. All units. Forge is down. Nice! We did it! We destroyed the giant zit! Watch it explode, boys! Oh puss for days! I picked up a new signal just east of here. That is fucking nasty. Anderson. Anderson? That's not her name. Is it? This is her. Yes, Hierarch. This is the one I observed. Such a frail thing. You would hardly think them a threat. I demand to know why I'm being Anders, held. that's it. Not Anderson. <laughs> Anders. Arbiter, a human ship has arrived and is closing in on the entrance port. <laughs> Get the Hierarch to high chair to intercept that human ship. It's a bit rude. At once. These cinematics are beautiful. Nothing but ocean. Are you sure this is it, Serena? Fairly sure. Initiating deep scan. Ducking. Cleansing. Uh, that's not right. Captain, you're not going to like this. What the hell? Serena, Captain, we've got company. Engage. Sabrina, I've got 
troops out there still. Get them back on board now. Captain, I can only hold this position a few minutes at the most. Now, Serena. Recalling the surface squad so we can all die together. Aye, sir. <laughs> Love your sarcasm, girl. She's got a sense of humor, I love it. Whoa! Alright, so this is on a different level, cinematic. Oh, collision! Fuck! is the best oh no captain we need damage control or the spirit of fire is going down forge use cyclopses to repair the power core while you defend against covenant attacks easier said than done all units on the way Attacking with both aircraft and ground troops. Global units. Oh, here they come. Nice. Destroyed. God, that would get irritating after a while. We're going in. We're going in. Mission complete. Oh no. Restraints off. Arbiter is pissed. Your judgment has waited long enough. Okay, so she is connected to it somehow.
What's she gonna do? Ventured. Nothing gained. Purpose. This girl's a little genius, isn't she? Hmm. That worked out pretty well. Um I'm not too sure about that one, Anders. Look who's there! You wanna be rescued or not? Nice work. Oh no way! So, uh, <laughs> Play is two no of these. For rescuing me, Sergeant. Later, the Covenant are assembling a huge fleet. All units. Suddenly, this LZ doesn't look so good. Spirit, we're gonna need backup right away. All units. And another Pelican. Oh shit! Oh no! Nice work. The professor's filled me in. Good work, Sergeant. Stand by for mission briefing. Is this really going to work, Professor? I believe this is our best hope. The overloaded FTL reactor will cause a chain reaction in the sun. Enough to destroy all the ships here before the Covenant can get a chance to make anything from them. Well, put simply, Captain. Our reactor will cause the sun to go supernova, leaving nothing here but dust. That's the weak part of this plan, if you ask me. We've no way home without that reactor. One problem at a time, Serena. If the Covenant get their hands on these ships, it will mean the end of the war. We'll take our chances here, give humanity some hope. I know it's been a tough call, Captain. But it's the right one. Spirit of Fire, this is Forge. She's buttoned up and ready to go. Deliver that package safely, Sergeant. Keep the coffee hot. I'll be back before you know it. I'll be monitoring. What a dude. Here, well, it'll be pretty obvious if he succeeds. <laughs> I'm gonna slap that hologram. <laughs> Oh no! Oh shit! I don't want to take any more chances flying that core in. We're changing this to a ground operation. Okay. The core is a heavy son of a bitch. Use elephants to drag it up those ramps. They're the only vehicle with enough torque to pull that in. I'm gonna take out another one of these yorks? Ah, oh, Jesus. And it's done. Let's go! In. Sergeant, engineers are on their way to rig the core. We're nearly there. Nice. Gentlemen, we're burning sunshine here. Uh oh. Oh no! It's 
Watch out, little soldier! Oh, he's got a bone to pick. Some unfinished business. Oh, look at these Spartans. Oh, I fucking love Spartans now, man. <laughs> this is so badass. Oh, shit. Where'd he go? Oh, he ain't falling for that again. Oh, shit. Whoa! Damn, Forge! You a beast! Oh, God, I felt that! Oh! Oh, shit! Dude, the booty on that lead! <laughs> there will be no female to save you this time. Look me in the eye and say that. As you wish. My face will be the last thing your pathetic eyes ever see. Oh! Got him! No! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and for the record, I would have kicked your ass the first time if the lady hadn't stopped me. <laughs> Please just nudge him off the edge. Yes, yes. <laughs> He's like, there you go. <laughs> oh. I have a feeling before this is over, we'll need every last Spartan in the fight. I can do this. Report back to the ship. Good luck, sir. It's been an honor. Spartans are so huge. God damn, that was epic. Captain, the exit passage has been sealed. Our escape is blocked. Ground teams, find a way to open that portal or we're all dead. The portal has six doors. You'll need to open them in the correct order. Based on Anders' observations, the alien technology will only react to human touch. Any other alien life nearby will lock the system. I'll get it. Covenant forces will be at Forge's position in approximately 10 minutes. I'm in the sun. You heard Serena. I'll wait 10 minutes, then detonate the core. That's all the time I can give you. Whoa, look at that thing. Roger that. We can't let them leave with those ships. Good luck, Sergeant. Whoa. Mission complete. Sergeant Forge, all ground forces are evacuating to the Spirit of Fire. Copy that. Get our people out of here. I'm blowing the core. Hangar Bay reports all crews checked in. Then let's not outstay our welcome. Best speed away. Captain, the gravity field from the sun is expanding. We're not going anywhere. Let's see if we can't turn that to our advantage. Serena, plot a course that takes us into the sun. We're going to slingshot around it. Threading a needle while accelerating around an exploding star inside a planet that's falling apart? Well, sure. Why not? Serena, <laughs> can you do it? Just do it, Zoxy It's such a fucking smart arse. <laughs> I love her, though. Closing your eyes might help, too. <laughs> She's the comedic relief. I love it. Whoa! That 
sick! Spirit of Fire, Captain Cryo Captain Room 3, March 11th, 2531. There's been no sign of the Covenant for almost two weeks. There's nothing to do. But Captain... But nothing, Professor. You got us all out of there alive. Get some rest. Not all of us, Captain. Not all of us. You need to chill out, Anders. <laughs> Literally. to me how many good soldiers Captain, are gonna die something has happened fuck now what what the hell It was like Channing Tatum. Whoa, I literally got goosebumps from this. What's going on? legend and his hatred grew eventually both were impossible to conceal oh man and they okay tried to banish him in everything we know about the covenant's thousand year history atriox was the first to defy the covenant and survive and his defiance inspired others yeah yeah, I remember watching this. The Covenant had two targets in those years. They almost got us. But Atriox... They never came close. What a beast. We don't stop him now. We leave the galaxy at the mercy of a monster. He killed everyone I was supposed to protect. At this rate, it'll be over soon. That is what you're up against, Shit. James Cutter. We need to run as far and as fast as we can. This cinematic is so sick. Oh my god. So fucking cool. Oh shit. I know the This is God like from inside Oh 
my god, this cinematic hits a whole lot harder after getting all the context. The music as well. Holy shit. <laughs> Dedicates Halo Wars to all our fans. We owe our success to you and are honored by what you've given us over the past 12 years. Thanks to you on Xbox Live. End transmission. Whoa! Halo Wars! That was amazing, dude. That was unbelievable. There it is. That concludes my journey of Halo Wars. That was incredible. Wow. <laughs> I did not think I'd be grinning from ear to ear because of Halo. I, like I told you guys before, I know a lot of you have already seen my videos. My first video that I done on Halo, reacting to everything Halo and all the trailers that have ever came out. I told you already, I've always been a guy that just loves PlayStation games. I've always been a PlayStation console gamer. I've never owned an Xbox, so I never got into Halo. And doing it now was the best decision I've ever made in my gaming life. Because I'm a part of this franchise, I'm a part of this, this community now, and I love it. Like, genuinely love it. From playing the games and seeing these beautiful put-together cinematics and seeing the story. The prequel stories. The the, st the main story. And, and this! Halo freaking Wars! This was so good. I love this. I, I absolutely love this, man. It's... It's incredible. The human race versus the elites. Just wow. This whole thing. There's just too many things going through my head right now. I don't even know where to begin. But I love the characters in this. I love Forge. He was such a badass. What a dude. And to, to, to find out that he... He did not make it out of that planet. It seems. Because he wasn't there. And I don't think Anders knew. I loved Anders as well. This very cunning young woman. You know, the key to it all. <laughs> I love the AI. Isabel. She was hilarious. She was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I love the the colonel or the chief. Uh what's his name? The lieutenant, I think he was. He was he was just a badass. What a leader. What a man that knows how to command these troops. And just seeing this game. This, this different style Halo game, this RTS style game, not something that I think a lot of Halo fans are used to at all. And it's a totally different approach, but it's nice. It's refreshing. It's refreshing to change things up now and again. And what entices people to actually pick this up and play it is the simple fact that it's a, got an incredible story. It's got cinematics in between that are just next level quality. And it tells a story. It fills in. Some missing information and it gives context to the story of Halo. I love that. I really do. I enjoyed this, man. This is a lot of fun. This is so enjoyable to watch and I was fully immersed in it. Every second of it. And that final cinematic 
Although I've seen it before in my first reactions that I've done. It hit a whole lot harder knowing more about Halo. And having a lot more context of characters. It hit a whole lot harder. It's crazy. I think it hit a whole lot harder the second time around. Yeah, it definitely did. Because it's 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 because I know a lot more about Halo. You know? I've learned a lot more since I've checked out a lot of stuff to do with this this franchise. And seeing that, that was nuts. That was actually fucking nuts. I loved it. So I want to say thank you to everybody over on Twitch that requested this one. I'm so glad I checked it out. And I want to say a huge thank you to the community here on YouTube. I know a lot of you have joined this channel due to the Halo stuff that we've been doing. And I hope you guys are here to stay for a lot more stuff that is on the way. I'll be, I'm planning a lot of playthroughs of the Halo games. We're going to be playing the Master Chief Collection. We are currently playing Reach and we're almost finished Reach right this moment. The next Halo video will be part two of my journey in Halo Reach. And then the next video after that will be the conclusion of the Halo Reach campaign. And once the campaign is over, I will be playing the multiplayer in Halo Reach with some friends and making a funny video for you guys to watch. And then after that, it is time for Halo Combat Evolved. So there's a lot of Halo games to play, but I know we'll get through them. And it's something to be a part of, especially if you are looking forward to Halo Infinite, which I am very much so looking forward to myself now. So I'm going to be playing through all those games to give you guys something to look forward to and something to watch instead of having to play the games yourselves and enjoying it from fresh eyes like my own and seeing it from a PlayStation guy's perspective. It's going to be an interesting road and an interesting journey. And I really hope a lot of you guys have already subscribed and are willing to join me on this one. It's going to be awesome. So, I'm going to end this video here. I thank you so much for tuning in and joining me on this one. This is a lot of fun. I absolutely love Halo Wars. And from what I understand, there's a Halo Wars 2, or there's going to be a Halo Wars 2. And I think it's going to be about the Atriox story that we got basically at the end of this. And it's going to be intense. And if the cinematics look like the one we just saw, then fucking hell, I can't wait. I'm hyped. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, lads. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy, and I'll see you dudes in my next Halo video. See you later, dudes.